What is up nerds? This is Crash here with another Team Fortress 2 mapping quick tip video. Today we're going to actually try to emphasize quick and I'm going to throw out a couple helpful keyboard shortcuts that I use often and feel like aren't really widely known about and can be major game changers for your mapping. First is my absolute favorite one to tell people about because there's always someone around who doesn't know about it and has been doing things the hard way the whole time. If you're one of those people, you are welcome. Uh, the trick here is to learn how to quickly align materials on different angles without manually adjusting the rotation. So let's say we have a beam like this in our map, very commonly used for supports. Uh, this beam is only angled on one plane, so we align our texture up using the texture application tool as normal, 90 degrees or so if necessary. We keep that face that is aligned properly selected and hit alt right click on the adjacent face that we want aligned with it. And boom, perfect angled material. We do the same on the other side, apply the texture to the back face, and we are done. Now let's say we want that beam at a different angle. We'll use the vertex tool to adjust it, but now our material is no longer lined up. So we just repeat the process we did before. Done, perfect. Uh, now things get a little trickier when you start messing with brushwork tilted on multiple planes, but at the very least you can take the time to aligning one face and everything after that should just be a piece of cake. And if you ever have any issues with the material stretching or acting kind of funny, like Hammer likes to do, uh, play around with the align checkboxes here and see what works for your situation. Next, we're going to mess around with painting geometry on displacements a little bit. So let's say we have this angle displacement here that we want to drag outward. Now we can go back and forth between the x-axis and the y-axis until we get it just where we want, or we can select face normal, select the face we want to manipulate, and again hit alt right click on it. Now if you look close, you can actually see the arrow changes directions and we're manipulating the displacement in the direction that we wanted. Last, we're going to go to the vertex tool. Often when vertex editing brushwork in a complex shape, you run into the snag of creating invalid solids because the brush is not convex on every plane. Now there is a ton that I could get into with vertex manipulation, but a quick trick that has let me create some pretty neat geometry is selecting all the vertices that I want to manipulate and hitting Alt E. This brings up a scaling prompt which allows me to do some pretty cool things with the brush while maintaining valid solids the whole time. This is especially useful for cylindrical brushes like so. Using this tool, you can create some pretty interesting geometry for your map very quickly. I used it very heavily on my map King of the Hill probed here inside the ship, and I've also been using it pretty heavily on a trade map that I've been working on here for all these uh, support pillars. Hopefully some of these tricks can help you take your mapping to the next level and help you create some really cool geometry. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if these tips helped you in the comments below.